What's up guys, Brendan here, back with another video. Today we're going to be doing a piano tutorial for the song Carol of the Bells, which is a beautiful, beautiful Christmas song. It's actually one of my favorite Christmas songs ever. Before we get into the video, definitely make sure that you subscribe to my channel. It helps ensure that more people can find my tutorials and it also helps you guys out because then you don't miss out on any of my future content. And with that, let's get right into the video. So I put together a really cool arrangement of this song. I'm going to go ahead and play a preview of what you'll be learning in today's video. similar to my interstellar piano tutorial where we have kind of the main shell of the song which is the melody and then I do a bunch of different variations of that melody so I'm going to start simple how to play just a simple basic part of the song and then if you want to build and build and build on those variations then you can let's get right into it so in the right hand you have this repeating pattern starting with your third finger here on B flat A B flat, G. So that's your pointer finger on A and your thumb on G. So it's B flat, A, B flat, G. And the rhythm of that is, so go ahead and try that on your keyboard. And that repeats. It repeats for a lot of the song. So you do that for a bit. left hand comes in. Then you have a slight variation where you move up to with your fourth finger here to D and you go D, C, D, B flat. Same rhythm. And you do that four times. And then you do the really cool part, which you'll probably recognize, which is. And then the whole thing kind of starts over. So we're going to break down that main hard part. So you're starting with your pinky here on G and you hit that three times. G, 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 fourth finger on F, middle finger on D sharp and pointer finger on D. So it's. Then you do this two more times. So that's three times total on D. Then you have your thumb play C, cross over to B flat. So try that. One more time. Remember to cross that pointer finger over to B flat. So G, 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 F, D sharp, D, 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 C, B flat. Then you go. So it's C, 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 D, C, B flat, G, G, G. So all together it's. One more time. Then we do the little walk up where it's. Okay, so what you do is you have your thumb here in D, and you go D, E, F sharp. Now, this thumb crosses under to G, so it's. Then your pointer finger goes to A, middle finger to B flat, and then you go C, D, C, B flat. So you kind of have to memorize this. It's. One 
time. Cross under. Then you do the same exact thing, just continuing higher on the piano. So you go to the D up here and you do the same thing. So all together that's. Okay. So you do it all together. Okay, so that entire right hand part that we've learned so far is the beginning, which continues for a bit. Then we have that next part. Then we go up to. Then the walk up. Higher. And then it starts all back over. Now the good news is all these variations that I'm going to teach you have that same right hand. The only thing you're varying is how crazy the left hand gets. So you've now learned the main shell of the right hand. Okay, so now we're going to get into the left hand. So what I like to do is G, F, D sharp, D. So let's try that out. Starting together, hands together here. Switch, switch, switch. So basically every time you go back to do it a second time in your right hand is when you move in the left hand. So it's same time, next, next, next. Okay, then after that, you keep this formation, but you're doing different keys. You go to D sharp, D, C, G. We're going to play it both hands together here. Starting with G. G, F, D sharp, D, D sharp again, D, C. So it's. Okay. So we're going to do that again, both hands together. One, two, ready, go. Switch. 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 Then we go to C. G. C. G. So you're going back and forth. C. G. Repeat. C. G. Okay, so then you play G with your pinky and you have your thumb here in D. Now at this point is when you change in the right hand. So remember how you move up to D? Well, see, you're playing D in the left hand too. So it's. Then we take our thumb up to D sharp. Thumb up to E. Thumb back to D sharp. And then that repeats. So we're keeping the G each time. So for this next part, I like to incorporate this middle key. So instead of just doing like we were doing, I add in the middle key. So I'm adding in D, adding in C, adding in B flat, adding in A. So all together, both hands on this part is switch when you go to the D switch switch and at this point I do my pinky and my thumb and I go back and forth between both D's and I'm always starting on this bottom key first okay so let's go over those last two sections that we've been going over here. So we have the switch, switch, so see how on the last one I'm kind of 
of pausing between the C and the B flat. That's because there's like a little pause, but I keep going in the left hand. So it's. so far I'm gonna go through. So we have this part. going to show you a different variation in the left hand if you want you can just end it here and that is a lot going on in the left hand as well as the right hand you can play a full arrangement that way but for those people that just want to take a little extra mile I'm going to show you some crazier left hand parts so again that right hand stays the same what we're going to do in the left hand is called an arpeggio so an arpeggio is a broken chord so instead of playing the chords together you break them up but you can do that all up and down the piano. So you take those three keys, right? And you can go. It sounds really cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out those four chords that we're doing and then play them into arpeggios. So what I like to do is I go pinky on G, middle finger in D, thumb on G, and I cross over and go back and forth between B flat and D. So. And I do the same thing with F, but I keep the crossover keys the same, B flat and D. So it's. Try that. F. Then I go down here to pinky on D sharp, pointer finger on B flat, thumb on D sharp, and I cross over to G and B flat. Sometimes even go back up to this B flat. So it's D sharp, B flat, D sharp. Uh, those are the keys. And G. So it's. And then I go to pinky on D, pointer finger on A, thumb on D, and a cross over to F sharp and A, and go back and forth between those two. So a good way to keep track is you're only playing it six times each time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, switch. 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 And you can play any one of these as long as it equals six. Because we want to keep our timing here. So I'm going to show you both hands slowly how I do it. One, two, ready, go. Switch, 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 full speed, repeat, okay. now for the next part I do the same thing, so remember how it was D sharp, D, C and G, well, I turn that into arpeggio. So I go, so that's D sharp, B flat, D sharp, cross over to G and B. Then I go down to D again. So we already remembered this one, right? We already know this one. We played it earlier. Then we go to C, G, C, cross over to sharp and G. Remember it has to equal six and then we, we jump down here to this G. Sometimes I play it higher on the piano just because I think it sounds better. So you go G, D, G, cross over to B flat. 
So again, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I go. Okay, so now I'm going to put all those parts together. Remember, you want to count to six in your left hand. I know this is kind of hard, but like I said, you don't have to learn this, but this is just how I do it in my cover if you do want to learn it that way. Okay, so we have this part here starting on this one. Next part. Okay, now we have our next part, which is so what I do in the left hand is instead of doing that, I do a little bit of a different part here. So I have my pinky on G, pointer finger on D, and thumb on B flat, and I go. So I'm doing G and then back and forth between B flat and D. Now I move my pointer finger up one. Move it again to E back to D sharp. So it's D, D sharp, E, D sharp. And I play that with this part. So it's switch, switch, switch. And then I usually repeat it. When I go to the do 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 now I do those earlier arpeggios again, just like I taught you. And then I do the D again. On the you have to count it for longer. So you do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's. And I keep this going with 12 keys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's during the entire walk up. So it's. So on that C, remember you pause. So it's. Together. Repeat the whole thing. All right, so with all those variations in mind, I'm going to show you everything that you've learned so far in this video. We're going to do an entire, entire walkthrough here. Okay, so how I personally like to start the song, you could totally do it however you want. I'm just showing you kind of the shell of the song, is I like to play it high up on the piano first. So I'm just taking those parts I learned and just doing them high on the piano. So in the right hand, I do. Right? And then I have the. Just like we learned, I'm just not moving up this last part higher on the piano. So then in the left hand, it's the same thing. I'm just doing the main key. So. So usually I start it on its own.
then I go down to the next part. start over. Next part. here playing G with my thumb so that's G B flat and D all up and down the piano all right guys and there you have it that is the entire piano tutorial for Carol of the Bells hope you guys enjoyed this video I know I taught it a little bit of a different way but I wanted to be able to offer different variations for all the different levels of piano players out there from easy to hard. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely let me know how you felt about that in the comment section below. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton as a content creator here on YouTube. And like I said, it also helps you guys out because then you don't miss out on any of my future content. Don't forget to create art and I'll see you guys next time.